Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I am here to do my three month castor oil update, which I know I was supposed to do two month update, but I'm not going to explain why I was gone and didn't film it because people get mad when I update and don't get straight to the point. So since the last time I filmed the castor oil update, I actually changed a couple things. Uh, December 11th was when I last filmed my update. For the lashes, I was using a tube but I read up on a lot of your comments on my castor oil videos that you should be applying it on your roots and that's why I didn't see much change in between the month, although a lot of people said a month isn't long enough for you to see any growth with your lashes and to do it for three months, which is why I waited until now to do the second update. So things have changed. I actually stopped using this wand just because it was good at coating the lashes but it wasn't getting to the root. So I would apply this before bed and sleep with it. And I found that when I did do it in that method, sometimes I'd wake up with a little bit of oil in my eyes and it's a little blurry. Not too bad, but that bothered me a little bit. So I stopped using this. I would actually use a Q-tip instead and stick it where the opening would be and just flip the tube upside down until it touches the Q-tip. Just so that there's just enough on the Q-tip so it wasn't completely saturated and I would just I'd lift my lid up like this so I could see the root better and just slowly apply it to the roots and I didn't put it on at night so I stopped using it at night I actually wore it during the day I wouldn't wear mascara to work a couple days a week and just put the castor oil on and wear castor oil on all day I just felt like when I wore the castor oil during the day it wasn't likely that it would get in my eye I only wore it at night if I completely forgot and then remembered before bed and said, oh, I should probably wear castor oil tonight. And I would actually also apply this on my lashes if I wore it to work, just for extra saturation. I don't know. I felt like maybe that would help. For my update, I actually just took the pictures to do this update and I looked at the pictures to compare to my other pictures I took and I feel like those pictures don't do anything. Like the pictures with your eyes closed, I don't know if it's because I have Asian lashes. I'll show you guys anyways, but I don't find that it's a good, it's not a good way to determine how well this method works and I'm just going to honestly tell you guys what I think about this method and if you guys choose to believe me or not, that's completely fine. First things first, I did not use, I don't know if I said this already, but I did not use a castor oil religiously every day. There's days that I forgot, there's days that I would remember last minute before bed and I'd wear it. So at most I probably wore it maybe four times a week. I don't think you need to wear it every day. I mean, if you're really adamant on making this method work, then sure, every day probably is a good thing, but you know, as long as you wear it a couple times a week, I feel like it's okay. My conclusion to this method is that it does work. It does make your lashes grow. It grows a little bit longer, I feel, but it's not anything dramatic. Like, it's not gonna make your short stubby lashes look like a full set of fake lashes that you would put on. It does not do that. It does, however, lengthen your lashes a little bit and also strengthen your lashes. I did find that when I wore mascara and I would remove my makeup at the end of the day, I found that less lashes would fall out, which is great. When I notice a difference is when I put on my mascara. This. I use this for at least for this review. I mean, I use two different mascaras. There's one that I use for natural, non-toxic, everyday use, and there's this one that I use when I go out. So I used this in my last video just so you guys could see it for filming purposes, and I find that using this now, it makes my lash look lashes look even longer. I'll zoom in and show you guys, but like when I was applying mascara on my lashes earlier, it just looked extra long, like a lot longer than before. Where I did start to notice that this method does work for lashes is my bottom lashes. I never applied any of the castor oil ever on my bottom lashes. I think it's just because like when I went to bed it would touch the bottom lashes and probably saturated a little bit, but recently, I think two weeks ago, I noticed that my left lash, bottom lash here, um, is a lot longer than this side. The only way I can show you is if I pull my lids down, but this side of my lashes are longer than this side. So I don't know if just this side got more saturated, but they never used to be that drastically different. So yeah, the castor oil does work. It just isn't a method that I would use to replace getting eyelash extensions if that's what you're used to. 
if you have short lashes and you're used to getting eyelash extensions, it's not going to make your regular lashes super full, super long. It will lengthen them. It will strengthen them. Another thing, I have a new eyelash curler. This is like the same apparatus as my previous one. I The cushion on my old lashes that I used in the previous video, there was like a huge slit in it that probably prevented and damaged most of my lashes. So I got a new eyelash curler not too long ago, so that also helped with the fact that my lashes are more stronger, longer, and pretty much my update. I feel like that's pretty straight to the point, as quick to the point as I can get without making you guys annoyed, or at least making some of you guys annoyed with my thoroughness. But I'm going to stop the video here, and if you guys have questions, on my three month update, please let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you. I apologize it took me so long to do this update and I apologize I didn't inform you guys. There's a lot that's going on and I will not say it in this video. Let me know what you guys think and please give it a thumbs up if you thought this was helpful and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.